Hey everyone, Vincent here from XVS Productions and welcome to another video tutorial. Today in this video tutorial, we're going to be creating a storm intro in Adobe After Effects. So check this out, here's what we're going to be creating and check it out. So as you see, you have the rain particles, the grunge texture in the background, and of course your text. Now this is actually a very easy animation to create, one, because the text, the texture, and the rain sounds are provided by Video Copilot at videocopilot.net. The links will be in the video description. You have the textures here, download it, and import it to After Effects. And the sounds you can add manually in a Sony Vegas or video editor and add the sounds manually. So import the textures into After Effects and we can begin. Create a new composition. Name it Rain Animation Intro Height. 720 width by 1280 frame rate 30 about five seconds for the duration then click OK Now I'm gonna be slowing down a little bit because the beginners have been complaining about my recent intro on the space intro So I'm gonna slow it down just a notch But not too much because most of my viewers are advanced users and we need a faster pace So create a new solid make it black name it BG click OK Now input the texture you want to use you can use any texture you want you can Google them and find any texture you want, or you can use the Video Copilot one. But import it, stretch it out, get the ellipse tool, and make an ellipse. Make it very thin like this. Click F on the mask and feather it out. So you have something like this. Now we're going to add text to it. XVS Productions. Bring on the title safe. Select the selecting tool and center it somewhere around there now add a drop shadow to the text effect perspective effect perspective drop shadow distance to 4 softness to about 10 add a ramp effect generate ramp move it before the drop shadow and just go ahead and play around with it. You can change the colors to what you want. I'm going to keep it at these settings. So somewhere over here. Text is looking great. Now to create the rain, go to layer, new, solid. Make it a gray, solid. Name it rain particle. Click OK. And apply effect. Simulation CC particle world. Turn grids off. If we're going too fast for you, pause the video. Move the time selecting. Move up to about one second so you can see the particles emitting. Change it to 0.2 for the birth rate. Longevity to 10. And let's go to the producers tab. Increase the radius so it fills the whole screen. Increase the X and Y. And add a little bit of Z. Close to producer, physics, change the animation to twirl, velocity to zero, gravity, keep it the same. So now what you have is falling particles that are lines. I'm going to change the X, make it a little bit wider. So now you have falling straight line particles. Let's go to particle tab, change the birth color to light gray and death color to a darker gray and change the opacity to about 50 percent so what you have is falling gray particle lines that look like rain now of course you can go to the physics and increase the velocity about 0.02 because wind is going to affect the rain and rain is not going to fall down exactly straight 90 degrees and change the angle to about 75 we're going too fast for you pause the video and follow along but I actually pre-rendered this video, so I actually pre-rendered the background, which is the texture, the rain, and the smoke in the background. I just pre-rendered the background, so you can just import that video into After Effects, animate your own text, and render it. But in case you people want to know how to create the rain in the environment, this is how. And in the original demonstration, I added smoke from Action Essentials 2, which you can buy a video co-pilot right here. It includes explosions. But that's how you create the smoke, or that's how you get the smoke in there. You have the rain and the grunge textures, as you see. And now you can go on further by 
color correcting this by going to effect color correction curves, increasing the blue channel, and lower the red channel. So you have a cool feeling like that. So very easy, just create an ellipse on the grunge texture, make the background black, insert your text, and create the rain using CC Particle World, and just increase the gravity. Now, this is a very easy tutorial. Remember, I prevented the background for you. That's your text, and I included the project file in the video description. I uploaded it to Mediafire, and it'll be in the video description. You can download it and follow along. Now, because of copyright laws, I cannot give you the texture, like this texture right here I have in the background by Video Copilot. By law, I cannot distribute it or include it in any project file or share it in any way. It's private because I bought it. So you have, you're, you're gonna have to download Riot Gear yourself. That's where it's from, or you can download the textures that they provide you for free. You can do a Google search and find free textures. You can use whatever you want. You don't even have to use a texture. You can use a solid gray background. But with that being said, that's just the warning. I can't distribute it, so don't ask for it. I can't give it to you. It's against the law from copyrights. So just import the texture and do that. Now, very easy. Remember, I. I included the pre-rendered background, which is just everything you see here in front of you, except for the text. So you can animate it yourself. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment the video. I'm sorry, going a little bit too fast. I'm in a rush right now. So, yeah. So, comment, rate, subscribe the video. Check out my channel for more Adobe After Effects video intro tutorials on After Effects. And so, another easy tutorial made by XVS Productions. Comment, rate, subscribe, and thanks for watching, guys.